welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the new Mini a little bit, and we're going to be doing one of the coolest things I think is available on most newer BMWs and Mini, and that's coding in features that are there but just turned off. And we'll go over the car a little bit more because my last video was just kind of just shaking off the posting rust from not posting in six-ish, seven-ish, eight months or so. And this one's going to be a little bit better, and let's get into that now. All right, in order to do this, you'll need two things. You'll need the Beamer Code app that's available in the App and Play Store. It is a paid app. It's 40 bucks at least on the iOS App Store. And then you'll need a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter. This one is the VPeak OBD Check BLE. There's several other versions available, and I'll put a link in the description which one's there. Or I'll put a quick little still shot of which ones are compatible here. Right. Next step, you're going to want to take your OBD Bluetooth adapter and locate your OBD 2 port on your Mini. Mine is just if you follow the dead pedal straight up in a line, you'll see it's right, right about, ooh, did I cover the light? Yep, right here. And then this just goes, can only go in one way, so once you fit it, that's it. All right, and now we'll be in the app. So you just want to go to settings here. Make sure your adapter is checked off as the one you're using right here. And that's this one right there. Oh, sorry, focus. I have my VPeak OBD check BLE, BLE plus adapter checked off. That's the one I'm using. And then after that, we make sure that's all set. And we do connect. We allow it. And it'll do its thing. All right, it'll pop up to select your vehicle. We're in a Mini, so we're going to select Mini and continue. All right, it's turning everything on in the car. It's looking to see what control modules we have. And this might take a minute, so I'll probably time lapse over this while it does its thing. All right, and we're in. So once it connects, it'll show you all the control units you have available to modify. So we have active sound, advanced crash safety module, amplifier, body domain controller, yada, yada, yada. I don't have to read all those off. You guys have eyes and can see. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to poke through some of these, see what options we have available. All right, so I did some poking around, and I saw some of the things I wanted to change were under the body domain controller, so I just tapped on that one. I'm just waiting for it to pull up the coding data now. So here I should be able to enable the mirrors to fold in when I lock, lock the car and unlock the car, have them fold out or unfold. And I should be able to disable the horn from sounding twice when the car is running in the morning and I lock the buttons to go back inside. Well, this does its thing. Let's take a look at the seats. These are absolutely gorgeous. The blue leather with the slightly lighter blue piping and stitching. The diamond pattern. This is an iconic trim, so this was one of the options. We went with this because the Dominica kind of like sports seats were no longer available when we ordered and that's kind of one of my biggest gripes with the cars I wanted the sports seats but the blue seats are really nice they're so soft they remind me of the S2000's blue seats and the uh, the thigh extenders right here these are amazing if you don't have them or haven't tried them they'll change your life all right let's see where we're going all right, about 70% there, and I'll update you guys on if this gets quicker, the more you do it. This might be because it's the very first time connecting that it's taking long to read everything, or this could just be expected behavior. I've never done this before. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we can also turn off the start-stop. All right, that's another one. I wanted to turn off too because that's annoying. Just have that off by default. All right, so it made a backup already. I was kind of looking to see where I could do that. Um, 
but it looks like it does the backups automatically so I'll export this to my computer so I have it just in case something happens to this device or if I update upgrade in the near future when the iPhone 15 with the USB-C port comes out so let's go back from here I am going to go here and turn the stop 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 start off by default and go back and let's hit code ah so there it goes please note that the coding process should not be interrupted ensure sufficient charge the battery of the Apple device and your vehicle battery the adapter should not be disconnected during coding and the app should not be closed and just like I said earlier, it says make sure airplane mode is enabled and the Bluetooth feature is enabled in order to not interrupt the device. Alright, so let me do that right now real quick. Airplane mode. And back over. Alright, and start. Alright, and that says... Oops, sorry, I should have focused that. Coding successful. So that... that Start stop feature really annoys my wife and it really annoys me too because it feels like the car stalling and it shouldn't it's an automatic it, and uh, It just doesn't feel right Ah, Horn signal Horn signal when locking the car when engines running so we're gonna disable that and Go back now, I wonder if I can select a bunch of these and code them all at once, but I don't know. The IT person in me says do this one at a time, but the get everything done really fast and one and done person in me is like just select them all and just hit code and be over with it. But expensive car, I'm going to do it one at a time and just deal with the time I'm wasting. All right, do that one, start coding, and then I'll just go through a bunch after this and do those off camera and then show you all the cool tricks I did with the car. I do gotta say that is pretty quick the coding process and this is really cool. Let's see driving modes default driving mode what does this mean? Huh. I wonder if the wife's gonna notice if the car's always in sport. I think we're gonna do that for today at least. So, I'm just going to select the uh, default driving mode as uh, Sport. I'm going to go back. Ah, fold unfold mirrors automatically. There we go. Mirrors are folded automatically when the car is locked with a remote control or comfort axis and unfolded when the car is unlocked. Please note that this car has to be equipped powerful. Yep, so the car has power folding mirrors. We'll just do active and back. And now that I have two things selected, let's... Uh, Let's do a quick look through here one more time and then hit code. All right, I think that's everything I want to do in the body domain controller at least. But all right, so since those are all set, I am going to code this now and then we'll test all the little cool features. Okay, so doing two at once kind of made the process a little, little, little bit slower, but not much. And now I know for the future. Okay. And now let's see what we got. Now, there's so many different things you can change here, and these are just the basic model, uh, the basic features you have, because I don't know if you've noticed, at the bottom here there's expert mode, which brings up a little warning saying you can cause some issues if you're not sure how to use this. And here you can do all kinds of other custom things that aren't available as the default little changes you can do here, and you can kind of code the car to do things that it's not meant to do but I'm not gonna poke around with this I am happy with the default options until I'm not and then I'll figure out how to use this but for now we're okay we don't need this all right and let's see if all of our changes are enabled all right let's see if it starts in sport it definitely has the sport menus on Oh, the car thinks it's in sport. Or. Oh. There we go. It says it's in sport. It sounds like it because it has the throatier sound. 
and let's see so it looks like everything worked the stop start is turned off that's what the little light means the car registers itself in sport mode I wonder if the exhaust cut out no well not cut out the extra flap is open in the back let's take a look doesn't sound like it oh it is look at that uh, yeah you can see the flaps open huh all right simple little things keep me happy for the next couple days until I decide I need to change some other things all right and the last test shut the door hit the lock and they close how cool is that it's the little things people it's the little things unlock oh, it works unlock too all right I'm too excited over the stupid shit but let's get ready to close this one out all right so that's the long and short of coding your F-Series Mini. I want to say it's the exact same thing for F-54, 55, 56, 60, and all the other Minis in the range. I think that covers all of them. I don't know why I said all the other Minis in the range. But that's how you do it. I want to say the OBD2 port is the same location in all the newer F-Series Minis, but YouTube your actual car, just to be sure. I only have an F-54, and I'm assuming because everything else is the same, it's in the same location. Next video is going to be, we're going to be on the dyno. Now I'm just not sure if it's going to be with the S2000 or if it's going to be with the new Mini, but I'm leaning towards the new Mini because I do have some uh, maintenance I need to do on the S2000 before it's ready for the dyno. Just got to change the oil, make sure the fuel is still good. So it is the 85, I've let it sit for a while. I have started it here and there, but might drain it and just put some fresh E in there. Uh, do some spark plugs, oil change, I think I said that already, make sure the throttles are in sync. So the S2000 has some um, major maintenance it needs to go through before we can get it ready for the dyno. So the new toy is probably going to go on and because I want to see what it makes for power and right now I'm pretty sure it's going to be the most powerful car on the channel for now. Won't get into the theoretical builds of the CRX and the, and the uh, Prelude because theoretical horsepower is not actual horsepower. So. We'll see you next time on the dyno, probably with the new Mini, but if I'm able to pull something out of my ass and get the S2000 ready, the S2000 will be ready on the dyno. So, we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you next time on Mojo Garage.